Welcome back, everybody. So in the last video, we got this. We were, we're working on this room database. And in the last video, we were able to successfully show that we had some products. I think it's been too long now. But um, yeah, so basically, we loaded. We went into main activity. And we set up the room database. We insert some records in the database. Uh, then we're just logging it to the log hat. In this video, we're actually going to take all of the products that are inside of the database, inside of this uh, room database here. We're going to get all of these records and actually start using them. This way, the app will work and be functional offline, so you're not going to need internet connection for this. And the use case for this, you know, it could be used for anything. Like in real life, you may want to just fail the user if internet doesn't work. But in some cases, like maybe you're building a newspaper app or whatever, and you want people to be able to read stuff and do stuff offline, using the room database is a good uh, use case for that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and close some of this stuff. And first of all, if you go back to here, we can see we have just the loading icon. So I'm going to just get rid of all that. I'm going to open up uh, um, a main fragment here. And I'm just going to comment out all of this code. So we're not going to, it's not going to be run at all. So if I go ahead and save this, if I go ahead and run it, and I think I turned off instant run in a previous video, but it should open up. And we still see the loading icon. That's interesting. Oh, I know why. So we set, and, and the, if you go into the layout here, we can see that, got to wait for it to finish building. We've got to see that we have the loading icon right there. See that loading icon? The visibility for that, I bet, is visible. So if we go into here, invisibility, one solution would be to turn it off. Um, because basically, so yeah, so like when the page starts loading, it's going to show the loading icon right there, that spinner. Uh, then once we do all of our stuff, then it's going to set the visibility to gone. So it's going to go away. So an easy solution to this is just, uh, we can just do a uh, root. And I realized I should have done the, the fragment a different way. But anyways, so we have the root dot progress bar dot visibility equals view dot gone. So if I go ahead and save this, uh, I'm going to run it again. And we should see the loading icon shouldn't be there. So good, it's gone. OK, cool. So if you open up main activity, in a previous video, we set up the room database, and then we inserted some products, and then we actually queried it. So in this video, we're actually going to use the products from the database. We should have about 10 or 15 records in, because every time we run the app, it adds another record. So it, it inserts uh, that right there. So. Uh, Insert all there's probably a better name for that anyways, so we have that so let's go ahead and go into a main fragment And let's let's do this in a background thread actually we can just copy some of this code so I'm gonna copy all of It's my phone. I'm gonna copy all of That and I'm gonna go back in main fragments, and we'll just leave that code commented out I'll paste it in there. Yeah, we want to import all that kind of stuff and we're going to get some errors, so I think we need to close that. And I think we're still getting an error. So application context here, so we can do activity.applicationContext. And let's just, for, let's just go ahead and force it with a double bang there. That gets rid of the error there. Or if you put your mouse there and do Alt-Enter, you can tell, yeah, replace with non-null assert. So it could crash, but it probably won't. Oh, and database name. We I forgot to update. I forgot to update the database name, so I just copied that over. I think from uh, the documentation. So we have this. So we have our database set up, and instead of inserting some, uh, what we want to do is we want to let's go ahead and close that. So let's get all. That's the method we want, and this is going to return some products. So let's do this. Let's do um, val products equals uh, all products. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to come over here, query the database, get all the products for us. And this is all going to be on a background thread because in a previous video we added a library or something for, I think we added, I forget exactly what, uh, the extensions or something. I forget what that was. Uh, so, so, so it'll work. Th that'll be on a background thread. What well, main fragment? Yeah. So this do a sync will be on a, this, that do a sync right there, that'll all be on a background thread. So we have that set up. Now let's go ahead and do, let's do, um, UI thread, and so all of this is on a background, but once it's done with querying the database, it's going to return it on a user thread, so this UI thread right here. So let's go ahead, and we can actually just copy that right there. I'm going to paste it in there. 
going to delete the extra space there, then I'm going to uncomment it out. I um, think we're missing, oh, that one messed up a little bit. There we go, there. So code is all good now. So this will not work because um, if, we, if, we, if we try to run it, we'll, we'll get a compile time error. And you see this products adapter here? It's getting products from right there. So that's where the products are coming from. And they're coming into the recycler view. We're setting up the layout manager and the adapter and stuff. But inside of, if we command click, control click on this, you can see it takes a list of product. And if we come to here, we can see, uh, so it's looking for a list of product, but it's looking for, but, it, but what is required is a list of product from database. So we need to convert this, we need to convert the products from product to product. Let me just go ahead and do it. It might be easier to just do it. So let's do this. Let's do um, val, um, we'll call this, uh, I'll put, that's, products is a good name. Um, I don't, uh, let's see. Here, I'll, I know what we'll do. We'll do this. We'll do um, products from database. I don't really like that, but it's a good name. Good enough for now. So now let's do val products, products equals, let me do products from database dot map. And we can actually kind of convert this convert the class over. And just to be clear, one more point is, see the differences between these two files right there. On one of the files, we have name, photo URL, and a price, and it is on sale. And then on the one for the database that we created in the last couple of videos, it's just title and price. So we don't have, we don't have is on sale and photo URL. So that's why we're having to convert this. And one solution would be to just simply add it in here Actually, we still need to convert the class. The point is, let's just go. Let's just go ahead and continue what we're doing here. So map. Then we'll do. Um, so this is getting back a product from database. Then we're going to do product. Uh, then we're converting it from the database from from that yeah from that right there from product from database into just product there. That's where it just says product. So if we do click in there and do control P, you can see it takes the title. We'll do it dot title and the it keyword comes from that database one right there. I'm gonna put some space there. So it kind of so when we do the map function that'll that'll convert it from one data class from this class to this class. So let's continue doing that. So we're getting an error. Let's do there. Um, what do we have next? A photo URL. I don't actually have a photo URL, so I'm just gonna open up the uh, gonna open up the JSON here at the website that we've been using, and I'm just gonna just grab a random, I'm just gonna grab a random URL. This is for like shoes or whatever, and I'm gonna paste that in here. So let's do this, and I'm gonna do Control P again. Now we need a price. We actually do have the price inside of the database product from database, so we're gonna use that price. So we'll do it dot price. And then I think the last thing is is on sale. We'll just do true. So it'll, everything will always be on sale. Okay. So just let's just go through this really quickly. We do some stuff on the background thread. We set up a room. We get the products from the database from this get all method. Then we convert it from the product from from this database product to this, which has an on sale and photo URL and stuff. Uh, then we're going to feed it to our uh, recycler view. And I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. Um, and let me think here. I think this might work. So it'll display the same image for all of them. And the is on sale will be true. But the important part is we're not doing a web request here. We're not fetching a URL. We're not going in there and fetching that URL. What we're, all we're doing is we're saving it from the database. So the database gets saved over here in main activity. And then in main fragment, we can just query the database. So I'm going to save that, and this might actually work. So let's just see if it works or not. Let's open it up. And there we are. So here are all of our products. And we have a lot of them. I've opened up this app a lot, and so that might have been it. I don't know. But see, they're all $1.99. They all say socks, one dozen. I think they all say that. Do they? Oh, here are some other. Yeah, actually, I think in a previous, uh, in between the videos, I was just playing around with it, and I added some stuff. But yeah, here's uh, stuff for a yellow dress shirt, khaki jeans, red shirt. So this is how this is, and this is being all pulled from the database. 
So I go back to the main activity. So if, yeah, I think this might actually work offline now. Let's just try it out. So I'm going to turn off, oh, internet already is off. So internet and mobile data is off. I'm, so it is working without internet. So just to confirm, swipe down and you can see Wi-Fi is off and mobile data is off. So if we open up the app again, we'll see, hey, we still see all of the products. That's because it's all saved into the room database. So try to think of what else we can do. For now, this is good enough. In a future video, we'll probably add search capabilities where you can like search for products and we'll add some different categories for like shorts and stuff. I don't think this does anything. I think they're all the same. Oh, there's blue jeans. Settings, I forgot what settings does. Doesn't do anything. Jeans, let's just go back to home. So yeah, this is all being powered from our room database because internet and Wi-Fi is both off. Now they're all on sale, like sure enough, yeah, they're, we just set it to true and they all have the same image. But other than that, this is fully functional. I mean, well, kind of functional, like all of this is offline. Anyways, we'll continue this in the next video. Um, don't know exactly what we'll do, but I'll think of something to do. Or if you have, hey, if you have suggestions on what you want me to add to this app, let me know and I'll try to add that feature to it. So if you want like search or like, um, different categories or like a different styles or different colors or whatever, leave a comment below and I'll try to make a video for it. So thanks.